even though there are only 15 shows represented, they really did kind of spread it out. Hey, K-Drama fans, we are the K-3, and we are here to talk the Bexang Awards 2022 nominees. We're so excited, right? Yes. We have thoughts, and we have a special guest too today. We Yay. do, yeah. And so without further ado, let's introduce our favorite K-Drama blogger, Caitlin. Yay! Hey. Hi. 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 How's it going? Good, good. How are good. you guys? <laughs> good. Are you ready to talk some Bexang uh, uh, nominees? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I have a lot to say. <laughs> <laughs> right? So much to say. So that's not only our thoughts, exactly. but we asked all of you, our K-Drama Coffee crew, to tell us who you would pick to win. And it's such a, <gasps> it's such a, so I mean, that's the thing with these awards. It's like, who was actually nominated? Who you want to win? Who we want to win? Who we think might <laughs> win? It's just all, so, uh, yeah. So many things to discuss in every category. It's yes. amazing. So without further ado, let's just roll into them right because we've got y'all y'all were really passionate about uh the red sleeve yes. <laughs> so let's get yeah. into this shall we all right dun, 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 drum roll the vexing awards nominees yeah yeah all right first up we have our best new actress kim hey june from jtbc inspector Koo, e young from netflix's juvenile justice e you me from Netflix's All of Us Are Dead, and Jung Ho Young from Netflix Squid Game, and Cho Yi Yun from Netflix All of Us Are Dead. So before we go to what everybody thought, what were your guys's? Who do you guys, who's who's your choice in this category? Jung Ho Yun. I think it's hers to lose. Yeah. I mean, she's mm-hmm. become a superstar through this, and it's just, you know, we know this was her first mm-hmm. role. She really just captured so many emotions and tension and physicality in this role. Right. So yeah, you it, forget she's a superstar international model. Right, right. Exactly. Caitlin, do you feel the same way? Yeah, I voted the same thing. I mean, yeah. it, like either it, it goes to say like when the director is trying to figure out a way to bring her back, even though <laughs> right. her character died yeah, right. exactly. and like coming up with these concepts, it kind of just shows that the she evil twin will get this one. Exactly. Yeah, it's okay. like that's the yeah. rumors that are being brought about. Exactly, so, I love it. Yeah. It's fantastic. All right, so what did what did our crew have to say? What did you guys vote for? Oh yeah, huge. Jung Ho Yun. Jung Ho Yun. The only other one that even like made it to a percentage was Kim Hae Jun for Inspector Koo, which I think might have just from my sure, just from a just. She was brilliant in that role. She surprised me. I think she really definitely deserved it for sure. Yeah. And here's the thing. Um, I don't understand the, the year that they're pulling these nominations from. Every year we have this conversation. Right. It's, there are a lot of 2022 shows in here Mm -hmm. or shows that bridge from 21 to 22. So I'm really unclear on when the year started. I mean, Inspector Koo was definitely right in the middle of it, but I'm always kind of amazed because I did it count because I felt like I was seeing the same dramas over and over again in these nominations. And some of you definitely brought that up in your comments. Um, I counted, there were only 15 dramas that were recognized in some way. Um, Actually 16, if you count another award for a technical award, but um, I myself watched like over 60 dramas in 2021. Thank you. My drama list. Right. So exactly. So it's like a really small slice of K dramas, yeah, uh, which I know a lot of you guys had issues with, right? So, yeah, because I did. It was a very small slice, and there were a lot of really good smaller dramas that I don't think were recognized. And I think Inspector Koo actually does fall in that category because I think she's the only nominee in all and for that show. Yeah, right? that's why I'm so surprised. Um, but yeah, yeah Jung Ho Yun, Jung Ho Yun. Oh, if she doesn't win it, I will be. St- Stunned. We will be stunned. Yeah. <laughs> stunned. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's move on to our next category. So that's best new actor, as always. Mm-hmm. And the nominees are Gu Kyo Wan for, Net- for Netflix's DP. You got Shin Sung Hyo for DP. Yuen Su for Netflix's All of Us Are Dead. Choi Yun for 2521. And Tang Ju Sung for Racket Boys. I am not even going to lie, you guys. I went ride and die. If it was if DP was nominated, I pretty much voted for it. So for <laughs> sure, Gu, uh, Gu Kyuan was mine. <laughs> he was phenomenal in DP. So um, mm-hmm. But I, I have to say also, um, 
Tang Jun Sung made such an impact on in Racket Boys. I mean, this kid, he, he played a very young character, but just he really nailed it. And it was so good. And it was such an interesting character. He went through so much and the show was such a joy. So I'm, I'm really pleased he got a nomination. Oh, cool. And what about you, Caitlin? Who was your choice? I also did uh, go King Hwan because yeah. I just, I loved him even before DP. So I was oh, okay. very excited to see him even come in DP. DP. Um, but even with Tanju song, like, like move to heaven, he was brilliant in that too. So, and Racket Boys was such a huge hit in Korea. I wouldn't really be surprised if he got it. Um, granted, I, I, in my opinion, I don't think he will get it just for the nominees he's going up against. Um, but at the same time, Racket Boys was a huge hit in Korea. So, yeah. no, absolutely. It is. It, I will say the thing that I find most fascinating about kind of all the nominees in the past years that we've been covering this, there's always like that one or two that always you're like huge hit and super popular, you know, and, you know, creatively exceptional right so we kind of knew going in i feel like it's kind of it's anyone's game in this one but you also have to yes. remember who votes for yeah. the beck sang winners right. it's a committee of seven people <laughs> oh my god that's right i always forget yeah. it's not like yeah. it is here sure. where the academy awards right. all of the actors vote in the act everyone who is an academy member who is an actor votes in the actor yeah. categories there it's seven, seven people, people. Yeah, it is very limited. Right. It's very limited. Yeah. So this is this is why we give us all our own voice That's here. Right. <laughs> I'm also really I'm actually also really surprised that Choi Hyung Wook was nominated for this drama instead of Racket Boys cuz he was also in Racket Boys. That's right. That's right. So yeah. I mean, and I don't know if that was like diversifying the drama population. Yeah. I'm not quite sure cuz I mean, it, I did not watch this one, so I don't know how big his role was in that. I, I don't know. But um, you think, just speaking of how popular Racket Boys was, he would be nominated for Racket Boys. But, yeah. but also, we've got two nominations uh, for DP in this category. Yeah, exactly. And um, Shin Sung Ho, I mean, he's a rising star, but yes. I mean, he played this very kind of somewhat typical bully mm -hmm. role. He's very good, but I'm surprised it got him a nomination. Yeah. It was, that was, yeah. I thought that was a really interesting one for uh -huh. sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. Our crew, all thoughts. Let's go there. Oh, oh. You kill yeah, Juan for DP. Yeah, right? DP. Just and uh, right behind, well, not right behind him. He kind of took it by, by a, quite a bit. But uh, Tang Jun Song also uh, up there for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. So we're, we are all in like minds, y'all. As usual, we love it. Next category is Best Supporting Actress, one of our all-time favorites, Kal Mangum for JTBC's 39. We got Kim Shin Rook for Netflix's Hellbound, Kim Ju Rong for Netflix Squid Game, Ok Da Yeon for Mine, TN, uh, TVN, and Jang Hae Jin for NBC's The Red Sleeve. All right, guys, where did you guys end up? How many Netflix? Yeah. Uh, they're just sweeping this nominations, right? Yeah, it's kind of yeah. crazy. It is insane. It's it's a lot. Well, it's even insane. Right. Like a couple years ago, like nobody wanted no them included at all. No, or right? even like subscriptions in general. Like they didn't want them there. Yeah, yes. it was crazy, so, right? Yeah. I remember when Kingdom got a nomination for I think uh, Juji Hoon, and we were like, oh, we're so excited, <laughs> and like, yeah, because we didn't think and they're going to get any nominations. But now they're right. like almost they're. Yeah, practically sweeping four it. Four out of yeah. five nominations are for a Netflix show. That's crazy. Right. That's right. crazy. So who did you guys go for for uh, Best Supporting? Best Supporting? Um, this was a tough call for me. I'm not going to lie. I actually like Kim Joo Hyung from Squid Game. Okay. Yeah. I did the same. Uh, ah. I actually went with Jang Hae Jin from The Red Sleeve. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I loved her performance so much because it was so versatile. Uh -huh. And so, yeah, that's, that's my one red sleeve. <laughs> that's my one red sleeve. I wanted to go with Kamal Valgum, but, but I just, I didn't finish 39 and I, it would be more of a, uh, my drama watching overall, like how much I just adore her in almost everything. I right. Right. But, I did not watch 39 either, but I was surprised that she got it for that. Yeah. 
I um, also was very surprised that she was in this category for that. Right? Yeah. Because yeah. you all know my love for Sell Your Haunted House. Right. So, yeah. Hmm. I also did. I mean, I guess I didn't really understand the. I'm really curious with Hellbound because in my mind, Kim Shin Rook is not a supporting actress in Hellbound. I would agree like, with that. I, I I didn't understand. Like, I think she did awesome in Hellbound in terms of like she does deserve a nomination. Mm-hmm. I don't understand why she's in the supporting actress role for this. Yeah. Because Hellbound was very uh, segmented. Like it yeah. was like, you know, yeah. lead role of this piece, lead mm-hmm. role of that piece. So yeah, it's a very, it's a very interesting. That's a weird, it's interesting that they put her in that category for yeah. sure. Mm-hmm. I mean, she is listed in my, I mean, I guess it's correct because according to my drama list, she is listed as a supporting role. She's not listed as a lead maybe role. They, but... Maybe they thought that since they didn't cover all episodes, each all of them are supporting. I don't know. Well, that's what it we also don't well, know how this works. Like, does the network submit, like, for yeah. your consideration? Right. Uh, like, if you... We live in Hollywood, so there's certain times of the year where they're just billboards <laughs> everywhere that just say FYC. And, like, my husband's a member of one of the academies, so he, like... It's just, like, a flood of flyers, just FYC, FYC. It means for your consideration. So the, the shows and the production companies and the networks kind of put it out there. It's like, will you consider this actor for this category? So yeah. it's possible it's that way? Definitely. I don't know. And I think she's our only Hellbound nominee, right? Yeah. 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 So again, yeah. a smaller drama. I mean, it did decent numbers, but mm-hmm. it really kind of came and went on Netflix. Yeah. Some of the other ones definitely had more legs for yeah. sure. All right. But it definitely looks like. Don oh, hey, Jen. Hey, the Red Sleeve. From Red Sleeve. Yeah. But Red Sleeve was very popular in, in our poll. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not surprised. Our K-drama Coffee Break crew yeah. loved the Red Sleeve. Love, so, yeah. love, love the Red Sleeve. Yeah. But yeah, then it looks like the next up was uh, Kim Jurong for sure. Mm-hmm. From She was, that was a fantastic character. It was a fantastic yeah. character. And I just, I just thought, ugh. The sass and the hard edge, but then the um, twist at the end with how she went out. I right? thought she just, yeah, uh, she was so likably unlikable. Right? Oh, I got it. But it also like brought her as an actress to is one of those roles where it's like yeah. everybody now knows her. Like yeah. Yeah. seeing how her reaction was to the response to Squid Game on like the amount of followers she gained or how much yeah. she was talked about. Like you could tell, she didn't really expect it. I mean, none of them really did. Right. I don't think anyone expected any of those to explode the way it did. did but yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's really, it's really nice to see a lot of, them, especially the women, get a lot of recognition yes. for that. So that's been really exciting. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Next up, of course, best supporting actor. So who do we have, you guys? Let's see. We have E. Dukwa for the Red Sleeve. We got E. Hak Ju for Wave. Going to the Blue House like this, which we need to discuss, y'all, when I get through this list. <laughs> <laughs> Lee Hyun-uk for mine. We've got Cho Hyun Chol, DP, and then you got uh, Ho Sung Tae for Squid Game. Y'all know who my vote is, but can we talk for a hot second about we're going to the Blue House like this? I never even. It's because we did not get it on a legit streaming yeah. site here in the U.S. and probably right. Canada too. Yeah, so that's why we know nothing about it. Yeah. Like nothing, Mm-mm. and it's kind I of. Remember, weird I remember including it in the drama list. I yeah. think it was like November or October of 2021. Okay, and I remember Marissa saying like, "If if I if we get it, I'll watch it because it sounds interesting." Yeah, but we never we never we never got it. So right. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I remember Marisa saying that too. So yeah, it's it's, it, it, and I remember being like, yeah, I think so. Like black comedy is kind of my jam, so yeah. I'm into it. But yeah, the nothing, and it was on Wave, which is interesting. I just, yeah. So we know nothing about it. It clearly did well in Korea, or at least the acting was mm-hmm. so superb that it got all these nominations. So we're yeah. So if you know anything about it, please tell us because yeah. we're we're in the. A dark on this one and we tried to find it so that we could maybe watch a little bit of it before we did this show but there's it's not it's nowhere to be seen on a legit site yeah yeah so okay but going back to our list y'all know that i'm going with uh cho hung chul from dp his performance was heartbreaking and so beautiful mm-hmm. that if he doesn't win i'm going to cry <laughs> um he was definitely my favorite as well uh he just it's such a heartbreaking performance uh-huh. and just I, I just, oh God. <laughs> it, was so, yeah. it was so much. I was, I just, yeah, it was so, it was so much. 
And this, I think just from an acting standpoint, when they did his flashbacks of what he was like as a teacher before he went into the military and how far he had had fallen mm-hmm. apart, mm-hmm. like just that, just that, that, di- that, that difference alone, I feel he, or he deserves the award yeah. for that. Yes. Caitlin, what about you? Where did you fall in that category? I was split between obviously the person you were just talking about and <laughs> Hope Sun Tae. Um, yeah. I loved Hope Sun Tae in Squid Game. Yeah. I mean, I, I just, I think I've always been a fan of his acting. And again, it's another one of those stories where like, I was really grateful for him to get this role yeah. in order for people to be introduced to him as long, along with many of the supporting characters in Squid Game. So I actually went with him mm-hmm. because I was just so happy yeah. with him. But Thanks. I mean, if, if Cho Hyun Chul gets it too, I'd be more than happy about that right. as well. I also will say I love Issa Hakju, so I'm glad to see him nominated, even though I've never seen this drama. Like, he's also one of those people where... <laughs> I, do, I, I recognize him very much, but I, for some reason, can't place him. He was in my name. Oh! oh nice. Yes. Okay. okay, I liked him in my name. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, All he right. was in a ton of roles. But, yeah, yeah, I mean, I've seen, I recognize him, but I always have to go to the IM, the, the, not the IMDb, the my drama list to be like, <laughs> where, where do I know you from? Um, okay, so let's see what the crew had to say. <gasps> and you guys chose E Do for the red sleeve, Grandpa Jonah. Grandpa Jonah, I just mm. uh, let's see who else, and then okay. uh, Ho Tung, uh, yeah, Ho Sung Tae, and let's and my and uh, no wait. And, yep, and Cho Hyun Cho. Okay, I looked up Grandpa Jonah. Yeah. Ido Kwa. Yeah. He has been nominated previously for four Beksangs. And how many times do you think he's won? Zero. Four. Oh, four. Really? <laughs> like, it's yeah, either zero yeah. or four. It's either zero yeah. or four, Marisa. It's that. Yeah. He's won all four. Uh, so, you know, they love him. They, they love, love him. him. And he's so good. But I just feel like this field this time around is, I mean, not that they have, the other fields have not been as challenging, but I just, I'm sorry. Uh, Cho, Cho Hank Jules performance just, it gutted yeah. me. And I, I mean, just want him to win. He's already won I don't. He did not win the day song at the M, at the NBC Awards, but he won a role for Red Sleeve at the NBC okay. Awards. So yeah. if he gets this role, I would not be surprised. Yeah, no, I won't be surprised <laughs> at all if he wins it. But I really hope. I'm. Re- you, y'all know. I've already said this. I will die on that hill. <laughs> 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 all right, let's okay. move on. Next, we have the best director, and our best directors are. Dun, dun, dun. Yu Sung Ho for the wave going to the blue house like this. We have E Na Jung for mine. We've got Jung Ji In for the red sleeve. We got Ha Jui for DP. And then we've got Hwang Dong Hyuk for Squid Game. So this one, this one's loaded, y'all. Mm-hmm. This re- one's a tough one. Yeah. Um, I, okay, so Squid Game. Yeah. Global hit, yeah. right? I think he's not going to get it for director. Right. Okay. Um, but I think I'm going with the director from DP. Yeah. Okay. What do you say, Caitlin? I also went with the director for DP. Again, I was split on this, but I feel like, yeah, I just, I, I, I picked the director from DP. Maybe because I picked Squid Game for the other one. <laughs> <But Yeah. laughs> I, I, I was split on both of the directors too, but. Yeah. Yeah. I remember last year, I think the director went to um, Flower of Evil, but then the best show went to uh, 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 what was the other big one? They're both crime ones. And so it was Beyond Evil. Yes, Beyond Evil. And so I feel like this is going to be a split as well. So I think if you're going to go best best drama, Uh they're going to give it to Squid Game. And if they split it, it'll definitely be a DP. I definitely, I was DP across the board. If DP was nominated, I was DP. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know. Check, check, check. Check, 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 check. <laughs> Yeah. Done. Yeah. I think because of how the nominations rolled out for director and screenwriter and drama, there's kind of room. Plus, there's the day song. Yeah. The day song. And one of our commenters home. mentioned that. So we will get to that in a moment. But um, I think there's room to recognize all these dramas through those, those that's, awards. That's a really good point. Yeah. My, okay. Let's see what our crew said. Yep. The red sleeve. The red sleeve. <laughs> director of the red sleeve. She had to say, I have yeah. to say, she did do a beautiful job. Beautiful job. Beautiful job. I mean, it was exquisitely directed. Yeah. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, again, all of these shows were really, really exquisitely directed. Yeah. When you look at historicals, um, this did not garner the kind of shut the store, leave the office yeah. early. We are going home to watch, you know, this drama. So I don't know if it just hits differently because DP, man. Whew. Yeah. DP. Yeah. Damn. DP hit me, hit me hard. Yeah. I still not I over think it. it hit everybody hard. <laughs> I know. Right. <laughs> I was just like, wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was, yeah. it was intense. Next one up, best screenplay. And then we have Kim Min Suk for Netflix Juvenile Justice, Kim Hong Gi, Park Nuri, Che Sung Jin for Waves Going to the Blue House Like This, Beck Mi Kyung for TVN's Mine, Yi Na Eun for Netflix's Our Beloved Summer, and Hwang Dong Yuk for Squid Game. Yay! All right, y'all. Where did we all end up on this? I think it's. Squid Game. Squid Game. To lose. <laughs> I know, right? Is there I, anything left in the world to say about Squid Game? I don't know. I feel like we've been talking about Squid Game for a year, and I think we have. Well, then let's talk about mine. Because yeah. I'm super surprised that this got a best screenplay um, nod, as they say. Over DP or 25-21. Correct. Caitlin, you watched mine. What are your thoughts? Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not surprised it got... I loved mine. Mine yeah. was great. I mean, the the relationship between the three fa- female characters, I mean, it had a lesbian relationship or yeah. a, a a nod towards that. It never really was confirmed, which I obviously loved. Yeah. And it was, I mean, that was the first for K-Drama Land in general. I really am not surprised it's in the noms. Will okay. it win? Probably not. I personally voted for juvenile justice just to really? like shake things up. I love juvenile justice. Okay, great. Um, but I mean, I will admit probably Squid Game is going to take it, but I personally voted and for I think juvenile that's, justice. I think this becomes the juggernaut situation where like even with other small, again, smaller shows that had great scripts, like Squid Game just kind of overtook the globe. Yes. And, mm-hmm. you know, they have to be acknowledged right? for that. <laughs> but I think it goes back to you saying, like, the uh, the Daesung Award. Like, I feel like they may take that big award and leave room for some of these smaller things to take the other pieces. Yes. Maybe? Yeah. I, now, I, thinking I, of popularity, though, our beloved Summer and apparently yeah. going to the Blue House like this were very popular in right. Korea. Yeah. So, I, I'm not, I'm really, and I mean, mine, what, all of these honestly were pretty popular in Korea. Um, I I just don't really know if you're going off of popularity, but you make a good point where they might just pick something else in this category and go with the big award going to Squid Game. I really, if they do that, I don't honestly know who's going to win them. Right. Category, it's kind of, all the it's, other nominees yeah. were quite popular. Yeah. yeah, you take Squid Game out of the equation; it's kind of anyone's game, right? For, right? Yeah. for best, yeah. yeah. If you if you make it the day song, then best director, best screenplay, and best yeah. drama are all are up kind for grabs. of all up for grabs. Yeah. They really yeah. are. All right, let's see what our crew had to say. What did they vote for? <laughs> oh, look at that! Shocking, Squid, Squid Game, fifty one percent. I think, yeah. I think his tenacity for keeping this script going for ten mm-hmm. years and trying to, you know, having a meeting with Netflix and saying, "I have this thing I've been working on." for a while i think you right <laughs> in many ways that needs to be acknowledged so exactly. yeah. all right so it's, it's gonna be really interesting i'm really now i'm really interested and in case you don't know the vexing awards actually are friday may 6th they're in korea so it's going to be really early in the morning <laughs> if you want to watch them live <laughs> We will not be doing we will that. Not, not live, <laughs> but we will be reacting to the winners. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The K3 is Jen, Marisa, and you. You are part of this K-drama community. And our podcasts and our live chats on YouTube are supported by members like you. Check out our memberships and you can support us for as little as $3 a month or more. And each tier gets you access to great K-drama perks like a calendar every month with premieres and finales, watch parties with some of your closest K-drama BFFs, private Zoom chats where we can squee and quibble all we want and it'll stay private in that room. And a little bit more and you might even get some K-drama goodies. So go to ko-fi.com, that's K-O-F-I.com slash the K3, click on memberships and support the K-drama coffee break. Best actress. Oh, this one is tough for sure. 
All right. We've got Kim Tae-ri for TVN's 2521. We've got Kim Hae-su for Netflix's Juvenile Justice. Pak Geun bin for KBS 2's The King's Affection. Lee Se-young for NBC's The Red Sleeve. And Han So-hee for Netflix's My Name. These are just some juggernauts, right? Yes. Beautiful portrayals, yeah. all of them. Um, Issa Young was just she was wonderful yeah. in this role in the red sleeve. But I got to give it to Kim Terry. Yeah, I was Kim Terry as well. Yeah, yeah. I went I, for Kim Hae Su personally. Oh, okay, she okay. Was, I, I mean, again, I'm a huge fan of hers. I've yeah, always been like absolutely. since like even before Signal. So. <laughs> I like she, it's one of those things where like if she's nominated, I'm gonna go with her because I totally understand. Yeah, um, absolutely. but she was brilliant in juvenile justice for I me. Keep me I need to hit play on that, but I just have never been in the emotional yes. I've never been in the emotional bandwidth to do it yet. It's heavy. I mean, I think her portrayal is like I know you were worried when uh with um the drama that she was with hyena. Yeah. You were worried that her character was going to be like Hyena. Yeah. 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 Her character is not like Hyena. Like, I can tell really? you that right now. <laughs> like, it's it's definitely not. And, and she's one of those actresses, in my opinion, where it's like she acts with the, the, her eyes, which I always like. Like, she can evoke a lot of emotions right. and do very minimalistic movements, whether that's in her face or facial expressions to evoke a lot of emotions in a very short period of time. And she does that a lot in juvenile justice. Okay. All right. I'll have to check that out. Yeah. I was definitely a Kim Tae Ri girl though. I just thought her performance was exquisite. Yeah. And I, again, I will say this and you guys know this about me. The fact that she was, a, it was primarily a comedy role is really what I really enjoyed about that. Like she's, funny. Yeah, I <laughs> I think she just fully committed to this yeah. teenager growing into a young woman, this um just full of just emotion and just like out of like she's not even like in her body, right? she's just like flailing yeah. away. Um and this arc of her coming into her own hard work, oh, yeah. um falling in love for the first time. I just I thought it was a beautiful performance. Yeah. yeah. And again, and we get I, it's hilarious. We're just now talking about 25, 21 again. And I feel like we could talk another 30 minutes. We've already done a full live on it and a podcast, which just dropped. So check it out if you want to hear more of our thoughts on how amazing all of these people were. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> but let's see what our crew had to say. Kim, Kim Tae for the win. Yeah. yeah. Nice. All, all right. right. Let's okay, good. All right. Let's check out the best actor. Best actor uh, the nominees are Kim Nam Gil for SBS Through the Darkness. We've got Lee Jung Jae for Netflix's Squid Game. Lee Jun Ho for The Red Sleeve. We got Im Shi Won for Waves Tracer, and Jung Hae In for Netflix's DP. I will say my biggest my biggest disappointment in this entire category is we never even got a chance to watch Tracer, so I can't <sighs> even I can't even say where I fall on the Im Shi Won because I love him. That's right. Yes, we do. We love him. Um, so we we're just unclear because we it's not on a legit site here, so we haven't been able to watch it. But we did love Kim Nam Gil. Uh, oh, oh yes, and we just want to say since it was on Cocoa, thanks Cocoa. Yeah, oh. <laughs> we love you, Cocoa. Thank so thank you. you. So uh, stick around, um, keep watching us because uh, these guys we have a few of these guys. It's a giveaway. It's going to be great. Yes. <laughs> um, Kim Nam Gil in Through the Darkness. Again, was extraordinary. He was extraordinary, extraordinary and at very low key. And this is the kind of thing where you have to, you bring all of his other performances into your knowledge yes. of Kim Nam Gil in Through the Darkness because it was such a staid, um, very controlled, ex except for when he's overwhelmed um, performance. So, you know, yeah, and then you've got Lee Jung Jae. Yeah, again, like the Squid Game equivalent, right? <laughs> uh, not equivalent, the Squid Game representative. Yes, yeah, who basically has swept every awards I know that he's been entered in. So this category is really it's tough. Really tough because then mm -hmm. I got a, the DP one with a Jung Ae In, and I think he gave again. DP was the one that that just hit my heartstrings. That was the one that got me the most. So what did you? What about you, Caitlin? 
Uh, I personally went with Kim Nam Gil. I I loved Gil. this performance. Yeah. And oh, it was ex- it was extraordinary. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. All right, all right. Let's Pre- see what the crew yeah. had to say. Do you know? Red sleeve contingent well, has arrived. Hello, yeah. my, I mean, oh my, my God. goodness, right? My goodness. Yeah, I mean, this is a really tough category because I've seen every single. We've seen all of these except Tracer, but we all know Im Shi Wan is a just an unbelievably good actor. So right. I'm sure it was a powerhouse performance. But Jun Ho came into his own with this drama. I mean, he was always super talented, but man, he he just embodied, you yeah. know embodied the prince and then the king right? so and i think it's really interesting if you look at the pie chart poor him she won didn't even get one vote because none of us were able to see it so he's he's got a great picture though so we do appreciate the back single <laughs> picture so yes. thank you um yeah but yeah yeah and jung hae i know a lot of you listen go ahead and comment if you're watching us on youtube please comment below or find us on twitter and instagram if you're listening to this podcast i know a lot of you were so disappointed and we got a lot of comments about how you felt um snowdrop was just ignored Mm -hmm. and that's just you know (laughs) wrong in in your eyes so please vent away comment let us know we're here for that is what the k-drama coffee break community is for it's fantastic (laughs) that's right all right and for the big award the nominees are best drama Drama, DP, 2521, Squid Game, The Red Sleeve, and Going to the Blue House Like This. I am fascinated by the fact that 2521 got a nod for Best Drama, but only got one actor, oh, only two actor categories. Right, and not the writer. And not the writer, and not Nam Joo Hyuk. Mm, not Nam Joo Hyuk, yeah. Like, it's, it's fascinating to me. That's right. So, I mean, the ratings were, were oh, wait, this was Cable. Mm-hmm. It was TVN. Uh, we saw mm-hmm. it on Netflix here in the West, but it yeah. was TVN in Korea. Yeah. So uh, interesting. This, this, okay. So this is where the day song really comes into play, right? Because um, Squid Game, DP, tw- I mean, th- all of them amazing. Uh, interesting. Juvenile Justice is not on that yeah. list. Yeah. It's just a very yeah. interesting, again, it was like, we'll give you this award here. We'll, we'll nominate you here. Maybe it, it's very, it's a very interesting spreading of the wealth. Of yeah. these awards for this cat for all yeah. these categories, but I'm gonna go with uh, DP and then Squid Game getting the day song. Okay. Ooh, mm-hmm. I like that, mm-hmm. Caitlin. I I went the same way. Yeah, yeah. I would. I think we're in, I think we're in a K three agreement because I would be completely satisfied with that because yeah. DP I feel deserves deserves that recognition because it was to me the best drama of 2020 so of course that means going to the blue house is going to win <laughs> right, exactly <laughs> yeah. exactly all right we're like yeah we're, we're just like, clueless, we don't, we don't, yeah. clueless but that's that would definitely be that would definitely be that would make me very satisfied all right let's see what the crew had to say it was close it was guys. close it was close with um, the red, red sleeve, sleeve. <laughs> oh we did all right. love the red yeah. sleeve didn't we who and we got, second? Uh, we, uh, well, you got you got a tie <gasps> between twenty five, twenty one, and DP. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Interesting. With Squid Game coming in only at sixteen, so I really do. I feel like that that day song is really mm-hmm. that's going to be that's going to be the Squid Game spot. Yeah. 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 Oh, and I just want to mention super quickly, I, we didn't include it in our voting but there's a technical award oh good because there was some technical amazing achievements this year right so the music for um a bunch of different reality shows like king of mass singer but also the cinematographer for red sleeve Ooh. which was beautiful the animators for yumi cell yes god i need them to win that's the only yumi cell that's unbelievable right? i can't believe it's the only yumi cells nomination uh, Jung Jae Il, who did the music for Squid Game, and then Che Kyun Sun, who did the art direction for Squid Game. So, yeah, possibly more recognition okay. there. Yeah, that's great. All right, so this is this is these are our thoughts. This is our crew's voting on what we think should be. So, so it seems like the K Drama Coffee Break crew really liked Red Slate. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, it was an amazing drama. It was an amazing was. drama. Yeah. I'm Team DP. What are you? What are you guys' final thoughts on this? Oh, I'm just split all over the place. And again, Netflix just wiped the board with all of these nominations, which is so surprising and amazing. Which means we're going to get more dramas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. More, more, more. Absolutely. It's what we want. Yeah. But- Caitlin, what are your final thoughts on that? Um, yeah, I I was also kind of split all over the board. I definitely think Squid Game will make a run for its money on everything, granted with every award show, but 
I did vote for a couple ones where I personally love them, like Juvenile right. Justice. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I was split. It was tough. Like, there were some categories where DP wasn't nominated, <laughs> where I went, I went and chose different spots. But, yeah, it was, it was actually, even though there were only 15 shows represented, they really did kind of spread it out, which was, it's interesting. It's an interesting combination. Yeah, and the award show itself is coming up really soon. Yep. So May 6th, you so said? So again, May 6th, yep. And it's going to be, I think it's, I don't even, I don't know the time. We'll we'll link it in the uh, description below. We'll let you guys know. Yeah, if you want to get up at 3 a.m. Mm. And I'm not sure how you can watch it. It's on JTBC, I believe. I think so. They, I think in the past they've done it live on YouTube. So oh, yeah. I, it mm-hmm. might possibly be that way. So, oh, we got another red carpet. Oh, <laughs> always fun. Always yeah. fun. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, this was a lot of fun. Kaylin, thank you so much for thank joining you. us and sharing your thoughts. And it is great. So, and all you K-Drama fans out there, we are the K3. I'm Jen. I'm Marisa. And you, thank you so much for being part of our K-Drama Coffee Break. We will see you next time. Mm-hmm. Bye.